A Tucson police sergeant will not face criminal charges for pushing a U of A student in the University Avenue disturbance last spring. Now we know more about why prosecutors decided not to pursue a case against Sergeant Joel Mann. Yeah, Sergeant Mann pushed and knocked down Christina Gardelik as police worked to control rowdy crowds after U of A's basketball team lost in the NCAA Sweet 16. The knockdown was caught on cell phone video and Mann's own helmet camera. Now your sides, Craig Smith is out live on University where the incident happened, Craig. Well, look right here. This is the bench that Sergeant Joel Mann pushed that young woman against. Her feet went up in the air. She went down. Now, Arizona DPS did an independent investigation on this case, and Pima County attorneys used the results of that investigation to decide against prosecution. As police clashed with unruly fans on University Boulevard, this image is one many people remember. A woman is looking at her phone as she stands on the edge of the disturbance. She does not seem to see the police officer as he rushes in from her left and pushes her down. It came out later that Sergeant Joel Mann pushed down two other people as well. Chief Deputy County Attorney Kelly Johnson looked at the evidence and described Mann's moves as, quote, somewhat overzealous and not necessary to accomplish the objective he intended. But Johnson concludes Mann was just trying to keep the woman out of the disturbance and never meant to hurt her. Her letter says, quote, however, it is clear from the evidence that Sergeant Mann lacked any criminal intent in using the force he did. And without criminal intent, the county attorney's office says a criminal assault case would not succeed. Stephen Weeks is Christina Gardilsich's attorney. I anticipated that the prosecutor would turn down the prosecution. Uh, it generally happens that police officers are not held accountable in the criminal justice system. They tend to be held accountable, if at all, through internal affairs investigations or through uh, civil actions like we're pursuing. Weeks is planning to ask for $375,000 in damages from Mann and the city of Tucson. He says he rejected the city's offer of $20,000 to settle. Mann's attorney, Mike Story, says Mann did nothing wrong and acted to keep people from getting too close to the police in a situation where police were understaffed and poorly organized. This thing should have been treated as a training issue instead of casting blame on Joel Mann. The department should have looked at how did we handle the situation and where, what position did we put our officers and commanders in. Now, Mann's attorney says TPD has already punished the sergeant with a two-week unpaid suspension which they plan to appeal because they regard that suspension as unjust. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.